In a recent interview with IGN, Joseph Stane talked about his experience coming back to Halo, what he's done to change for Halo Infinite, and it looks like we have Joe sticking around for Halo for quite a bit longer. Do you want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video about Halo. Today we got a bit of an insightful interview from Joseph Stane with Ryan McCaffrey from IGN. You know, and they talk a lot about like Joseph Stane's life for the most part, but he talks really interesting parts about the development of Halo Infinite that I think are really insightful. They kind of show what he's done personally to help improve the game. And it sounds like we can kind of just thank Joseph Stane for getting that year delay pushed in. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button as it really does help out the video and channel get a better place within that YouTube algorithm if you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the official release of Halo Infinite. Make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here. So it turns out Joseph Stain actually reached out to 343 Bonnie Ross in particular about if they needed any help because he saw the way that the demo was received back in 2020 and you know, obviously we all know that was the history behind that and it sounds like Bonnie really wanted Joseph Stain to come back to Halo. This is what they had to say about it. I think Bonnie's going to be I don't think I'm going to get in trouble for telling this story. So I think I can tell you this. The Halo demo, I can't remember what it was called. Internally, we call it the Ascension demo, the first uh, gameplay demo that was a, uh, not this past summer, but the summer before, 2020, yeah. thank you, um, had come out and didn't land as well as we had hoped. And so because Bonnie and I are just, you know, in contact with each other, um, I just reached out and said, you know, hey, Bonnie, if there's, if there's anything I can do, you know, hey, so, sorry, you heard about the demo. If there's anything I can do to help, just, just let me know. And over the years, you know, help has been, I would just come in and, you know, talk to people about yeah. the game. Or, so I had the conversation with, with Bonnie in the, you know, cockpit of my plane. And then, you know, I went away for two weeks. When I came back, um, you know, help had turned into a totally different scale of, of what I thought help, help might be. And I remember opening up my laptop after I think I was on vacation. And I just had like, pfft, like all this, all this mail in my inbox about right. a developing plan to explore, you know, what would it be like for me to leave publishing, come over and, and, and really help the Halo team. But it just, it, just, it just makes me chuckle because I'm happy to help quickly turned into a brand new, brand new, brand new career. But I was uh, super excited to do it. Um, a real honor. And uh, yeah, just grateful that Bonnie, Bonnie, uh, thought it was a good idea to, to give me this gig. Funny thing is they mentioned in this interview as well that when Josephine originally left Bungie back in 2014, right before the release of Destiny, Bonnie Ross actually reached out to Joseph Stane saying, hey, you know, we would like to have you come over to Halo, but if you don't want to, no problem. You know, we can hook you up with the Microsoft team and stuff like that. And that's how Joseph Stane got involved with the publishing team at Microsoft. And he's been working there ever since. But then now this opportunity came up with Halo, he jumped onto it and, you know, it seemed like more just kind of like, hey, I'll just help out a little bit. Then turned out to be a full on new job for him. Especially with Chris Lee being taken out of the picture of the whole situation as well. There was a spot available and who else better to do it than Joseph Stane. And like, that's like the only person I could see replacing Chris Lee in that situation. So obviously when Joseph Stane came back to Halo, a lot of the game was already made. So what's the difference that like one person can make at a high management level on the game? Well, Joseph Stane actually kind of goes into a little bit of that as well. He mentions three main things that he helped develop when it comes to making Halo work better. I came away with three things, three main things, because there were more than this, but three main things where I realized this is how I can actually help. Um, the first thing was to work with other studio leaders and Xbox leaders to get the team more time. Um, when I played the game, I knew right away, oh wow, this is, this is a really great novel expression of a Halo experience. It's a much more wide open, adventure filled, choice filled Halo experience, but it feels, it feels like Halo. And the second thing I helped with is really just took stock of um, mostly the campaign, um, because the campaign was the area of the two multiplayer and campaign where time would benefit it most. Um, the campaign, as you got a chance to see when you played, mm -hmm. is just the, I mean, we say it's the largest Halo campaign we've ever made, absolutely is. There's a huge amount of surface area. I focused a lot on campaign, work with the campaign leadership to decide what are those 10 or so areas where we want to double down. And the third thing that I dug in on with uh, Bonnie and other leaders was making sure we could finish this game in a way where people were healthy and um, energized and 
as best as we could ready to move into this live mode that we finished in a way that was that was good for the studio, good for our culture, good for our team. Because you lived through I had. the bad versions of that. That's right. So yeah, it sounds like the first thing you did is like, guys, we just need more time on this game. We're gonna really try to do it properly. And so we can really thank Joseph Stain for the delay because he came in before the delay actually happened for Halo Infinite. But seeing what we saw in 2021 compared to what we saw in 2020, like completely different visuals, a huge amount of time has gone into this game really helped optimize it. Performance is so much better and just overall that this wait was 100% worth it. If anything, it actually worked out better because I was worried with Halo Infinite launching alongside Call of Duty and a new Battlefield game that we kind of get lost in the mix. But with Call of Duty being kind of bland this year, Battlefield kind of dropping the ball on the launch, Halo Infinite's really setting itself up to really show it that it is the best shooter out there. The second part being that he really took an eye on what the campaign had to offer and really seemed like they kind of trimmed the fat that was on the campaign, but also doubled down on what made it really good. We've been seeing people posting a lot of videos on YouTube here about their experience playing the campaign. I think they've had a chance to play the first four missions and pretty much everyone I've talked to who has actually played the campaign has said that it's amazing. Like it's actually a really fun experience and 100% again, worth the wait again. I mean, we've seen huge changes just to like the cutscenes, like with the Discover Hope trailer looking completely different from what we see nowadays for the content that's going to be involved with the game. The visuals of Master Chief completely changing around as well. And who else to really decide what is needed for a Halo game than the guy that helped create the whole thing in the first place. And also another thing I'm really glad that they took note of was the health of the team as well. Game development, especially towards the end of the development cycle when you're about to launch the game, can be rather hellish where you're just working long hours, spending so much time in the office grinding things away because you want to make the best game you possibly can. But the thing with Halo Infinite, it's a live service game, so really the development never ends. And he talks about like having to make those tough calls like delaying co-op, delaying forge, and things like that. It's so that the teams can work in a healthy manner to continue working past launch as well, because launch it really is only the beginning of Halo Infinite. This isn't your traditional Halo game where like all the content needs to be there day one and like maybe a map pack or two down the line. But what's gonna happen after the launch of the game, right? Is Joseph Stan gonna be staying around for Halo? Well, it kinda looks like it because he did leave the publishing team of Microsoft and now is a 343 employee and this is what he had to say. Is this, you know, is this a, is this a permanent thing or are we just, you just kinda renting right now? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's what I said before. I mean, I, I have not felt this energized in a very long time, which I can't talk about any of this, but we've got so many cool plans that are in the works. And I see such a great opportunity for this studio and Halo to, to be a driver of innovation again, to, to be a cultural touchstone, to, to be a game that people love, a franchise that people love to spend time with. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm genuinely excited about the opportunity here. So it looks like we're gonna have Joseph Stain for a bit longer involved with Halo, which is really awesome to see because one, Joseph Stain, like he's one of the original creators of the franchise, one of the original writers. And so, you know, this guy knows like what's core to the Halo experience. And we can already see his influence touching the game already, which has been amazing since. And with the recent leaks about 343 working on a non-Halo Infinite Halo game, well, we might see some extra little fun stuff down the road as well. So if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.